All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, Bank and Monkey back again with another video of Singles Bow Jingles. Okay, so I have four packs of random stuff here that I've picked up over the last few weeks. Um, I think one of these packs would be uh, Land that I picked up from um, Phyrexia All Will Be One. Uh, I particularly like those uh, Full Art Lands, so I got a bunch of them. Uh, but I did get several singles, so that will open today. So let's get cracking to the first one. Here we go. Give me a second here. Just a little bit tight. Okay, oops. Some of the uh, tape sticking up there. All right, so here we go. Chaff here. Okay, so just for Chaff, we have Audacious Thief and Ondu Giant. And okay, so here are the cards that we've picked up. Um, we have Harper Recruiter in the um, Borderless or Extended Art. And then we have Semester's End as well. And a Stick Together. Very nice card. Good one sided board wipe. Um, yeah, so this is just for upgrades of my existing deck. Um, we have a Foil Borderless Curse of Surveillance. Very nice looking card. And by the way, I do have a um, deck with um, Lind, the, the one that the, the Curse Commander. So just going to be upgrading some of the cards over there. A nice Borderless Foil Coveted Prize. Yep, okay, a nice stable, Sir Conrad. Uh, and then we have Rowan's Talent, so this is an aura for Fort Cast, Enchanted Planeswalker. Enchanted Planeswalker has plus one, up to one target, gets plus two, plus zero, and gains first strike and trample until end of turn. And it says whenever you activate a loyalty ability of Enchanted Planeswalker, copy that ability, you may choose new targets for the copy. So that's pretty good. Okay, so this, I think from the um, um, commander of which... Um, uh, is this new Capenna, maybe? Okay, so we have two of that. We have a foil Vivian's Talent. So this is another aura, enchanting a Planeswalker for three to cast. So, uh, plus one. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land card among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest at the bottom of your library in a random order. And the next one would be whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a loyalty counter on Enchanted Planeswalker. So this is pretty cool. Good thing it does say non-token feature because this would go wild if it was just a token thing, right? So yeah, pretty good. <coughs> Next we have Sigard and Zealot, um, Borderless. <clears throat> so it's a creature human cleric, 3-3, three, three, 5 to cast. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose any number of creatures with different powers. Each of them gets plus X, plus X and gains Vigilance until end of turn where X is the Guardian Zealot's power. So nice buff there. Uh, we have a um, borderless inscription of abundance from <clears throat> um, Zendikar. <clears throat> and then we have a splendid reclamation. Um, I think that's Ren. Um, yeah. For four to cast, return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tap. Nice. <clears throat> and then we have Silk Guard. So this is an instant. X and green to cast. Put a 1 1 counter on each of up to X target creatures you control. Auras, equipment, and modified creatures you control gain X proof until end of turn. Pretty good card there. Uh, and then we have a Skywing Aven. So 3 to cast. Blue Bird Soldier with power toughness 2 1. Flying discard a card from hand returns Skywing Aven to its owner's hand. Okay, so I think that might be chap there. Dragon Whelp, that we know. Uh, uncommon. Okay, so we have some nice pickups there. Um, obviously, you know, um, some of these cards uh, I already do have. I'm just going to upgrade them um, and bling out some of my existing decks. Okay, let's move on to pack number two. Let's see what this would be. Okay, we have some chat here. Okay, I think this might be the... the um, um, Frex all would be one. Portal's Lance. Okay, but we do have some Chaff, so Brazen Rebooter there. Mist Raven. Flicker of Fate. And Tura Kenneru 
Sky Knight. Uh, and Vampiric Fury. Okay, so this is just the um, Phyrexia lands. These are all borderless um, foils. And we have one white um, showcase borderless um, planes. Okay, so let's put lands over here. Okay, let's open the next pack. Could these be more lands? See, good chat here. <clears throat> okay, so these are not lands. Okay, so sunlit marsh. All right, uh, let's put it there. Uh, mobilizer mech. Okay, and then I think we have chat here. That would be final payment and imperial recovery unit. So we have a nice snake umbra. Good for those uh, enchantress decks. Uh, Ascendant Acolyte, human monk, five to cast, one one. Enters the battlefield with a one one counter on it for each one one counter among other creatures you control. And beginning of your upkeep, double the number of one one counters on this guy. Okay, and then we have from the Lord of the Rings commander set, overwhelming stampede. Um, nice reprint. <clears throat> and then we have Vivian's talent. Um, yeah, so this is uh, just a borderless showcase version, I think, of the other one that we, we picked up. March of Burgeoning Life, so it's instant um, X and green to cast. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may exile any number of green cards from your hand. This spell costs two less to cast for each card exiled this way. So choose target creature with mana value less than X. Search your library for a creature card with the same name as that creature, put it into the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle. Okay, so we get two of this guy. Oh, and here are the lands, apparently. So more lands here. Two planes, um, foil, borderless, and more chaff. You have a power stone and a dominator drone. Okay, so last pack now. I'm thinking we still might have some more lands here, but let's see. Okay. Okay, no more lands. Here we go. So this is the chaff, mortal obstinacy. First time I've seen this card. Okay. Aura. And then we have a putrid goblet with persist. Next we have Ulven Wild Ulven Wall Tracker. So it's one green, human shaman. You pay two, tap it, target you should control, fights another target creature. So this is gonna go into my Theron Breaker of Silence deck where I can put him in during my turn, tap it to have Thrun basically fight another creature since it's indestructible during my turn. Uh, it's it's going to be like a cheap removal. Pretty good. <clears throat> Curse of the Swine, um, one of the nicer board wipes for, or uh, target removal for blue because <clears throat> it exiles. Okay, we have Marit uh, Lage's Slumber. Okay, that's no enchantment. We have a Flux Channeler. Treacherous Blessing, Enchantment, 3 to cast. When it enters the battlefield, draw 3 cards. Whenever you cast a spell, you lose 1 life. When Treacherous Blessing becomes the target of a spell or ability, sacrifice it. Okay. We have Scrap Welder. Um, so 3 to cast, Goblin Artificer, 3-3 three, three Power Toughness. You tap it, sacrifice an artifact with mana value X. Return target artifact card with mana value less than X from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste until end of turn. Nice. For recursion in red. Uh, so we have Pristine Skywise. It's a dragon, 6 4 flying, 6 to cast. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, untap Pristine Skywise. It gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Okay, and then a foil, Howling Golem. So 3 to cast, 2 3 Golem. Whenever Howling Golem attacks or blocks, each player draws a card. Okay, now we have something again from the, the recent. Um, Lord of the Rings set, Oath of Aeorl, 5 to cast Boros, um, first saga is create 2 one, one white human soldier creature tokens, saga number 2, create 2 two, 2 red human knight creature tokens with trample and haste, and number 3, put indestructible counter on up to 1 target human, you become the monarch. 
Nice. Okay. Uh, and then we have a foil Rien, Angel of Rebirth. So Naya and two colorless. 5 4 Angel with flying. Other multicolored creatures you control get plus one plus zero. And whenever another multicolored creature you control dies, return to the beginning, return to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next hand step. So I, I actually um, had set up a Aragorn the Uniter uh, deck recently. So this is just gonna slot in there, give a little bit of protection uh, to, to Aragorn. Very nice. Okay, we have a Foil Etched Dina Soul Sleeper. So I just recently um, uh, um, updated my Golgari deck. I, I did have um, that pre-con uh, Witherbloom deck from Strixhaven. Dina was in there, so I decided to make Dina the lead singer and, and really push on the um, aristocrat theme. So just getting this to bling out that deck, very nice foil edge card. Okay, you get a Fleetwood Dancer, so for the cast, Naya, uh, Trample Lifelink Haste, uh, a nice Felidar Retreat in the Showcase Art. Alright, uh, Timely Ward, so this is an aura for you to cast, and we cast a spell as though it had flash to the target a commander, and the commander has Indestructible. Nice, okay. Uh, and then we have a Board to Bone Rattle, so 6 to cast, Troll Shaman, 4-4 four, four, with Domain. When Bart of Bone Rattle enters the battlefield, if you cast it, choose target creature card in your graveyard. Return that card to the battlefield if its mana value is less than or equal to the number of basic land types among lands you control. Otherwise, you put it into your hand. Okay, and Chaff, Satyr, Hoplite. Right, so we did get a nice bunch of good rares here. No mythics, I believe. Uh, but most. I would say maybe at least a third of these uh, cards are just really to uh, bling out some of my existing decks and looking forward to updating my Dina with this foil etched version um, and also definitely the lands. Uh, probably one of my uh, favorite land um, lands coming from a particular set. Alright, so thanks everyone for joining this uh, unboxing. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.